Remember the story in the Torah where God tells Abraham to drop everything and go? Lech lecha, go out, God says. Abraham goes for it, makes his way through various adventures, and eventually to the land of Israel, where his descendants become a great nation. But why was Abraham chosen? Meet the Sfa Emet, a Hasidic rabbi and Kabbalist from the 1800s. The Zohar says that God was calling out to the whole world to go out. This message was broadcast to everyone. Abraham wasn't chosen, he was just the only person in the world who heard God's message, Lech Lecha, and went for it. This is why God loved Abraham so much. This teaching is deep. But wait, why was Abraham, out of all people, able to hear God's broadcast? And why was he so ready to accept it once he heard it? Let's look at another story just a few chapters later in the Torah. Abraham was sitting outside when three men passed by his tent. Abraham ran out to meet them, asking if he could get them some water, some food, a place to rest. He even asked if he could wash their feet. They accepted, so he and Sarah, his wife, prepared a feast for them. An incredible feat for someone still recovering from circumcising himself three days before. It's clear Abraham was a spectacular host. But let's check in with Rashi. He was a rabbinic rock star from the 11th century, and he was bothered by something missing from the story. Why was Abraham sitting outside his tent in the first place? Rashi finds an answer in the Talmud. Abraham sat at the opening of his tent in order to wait for guests. When none passed by, he went out to search for guests he could invite in. Elsewhere in the Talmud, we find a story about Abraham and Job that makes this super clear. Job asked God, why am I suffering? Haven't I been a great host like Abraham? God replied, you don't even reach halfway to the level of Abraham. You just sit in your tent and wait for visitors, whereas Abraham runs out and looks for them. Let's get back to answering our original question. The reason Abraham was able to hear the call of Lech Lecha is because he was listening. His ears were wide open, just like his tent. God's voice was like a radio broadcast. It was equally available to everyone, but Abraham was the only one who bothered to put up an antenna. While the rest of the world was closed off dealing with their own stuff, Abraham had grown into an especially open and receptive kind of guy. That was his thing. And once Abraham heard the broadcast, he was ready to jump in his car and go, because he was already the type of guy who liked to get out there and connect with people. This is the type of person who can change the world. Open doors, open heart, open mind. Ready and able to receive messages, and outgoing enough to act on them. <laughs>